Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial or demo that's going to show you how to perform a pen test using the new or the last zero day uh, exploit uh, on Internet Explorer 6 and 7. Uh, I'll be using Backtrack 4 as my attacking uh, machine and the victim machine is a Windows XP. Surface Pack 3 uh, running IE 7. Uh, so, on my attacking machine, I will go to the Metasploit framework, which is under Pen Test Exploits Framework 3. And then I will run MSF console. It's going to take a couple of minutes to run. Sorry for not having a very fast machine. I'm actually running this on my laptop using VMware. So, so in the Windows machine, I'm just going to run Internet Explorer, get it ready. Still waiting. In the meantime, I can show you that our attacking IP will be 192.168.0.20, and our victim's IP is following. Ah, sorry. 192.168.0.10. So it's just a uh, basic lab environment, lab network. Okay, we can see here that Metasploit has been loaded. Uh, if you have an older version of Metasploit, all you can do is run an SVN up, so SVN space up or update, uh, so you can update it and have the new zero day or the latest zero day, uh, the IE zero day. As you can see, I updated it yesterday. So we're gonna go into that exploit. So we're gonna say use exploits exploits or actually exploit sorry windows and it's in a browser a browser exploit and the name of it under Metasploit is IE underscore IE peers underscore pointer and then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my payload, which is my shell. Uh, and I don't know, as most of you would know or hear, that the interpreter shell, interpreter shell reverse underscore TCP is the most common shell or payload that people are using now in pen tests since it uh, gives you just a huge uh, or variety of options that you can perform you can perform on the victim machine like uh, uh, adding users uh, key logging keystrokes uh, take snapshots of the desktop all type of stuff it's very very flexible shell and then after I already set up my payload I'm gonna show option to see what is required from us for this exploit to run so as you can see here for the exploit itself we need to set up a server host which is going to be our attacking machine and you can see that the required field is yes so the server host and the server port which is by default is at 8080 uh, you can leave it as that or you can change it to port 80 and then for the interpreter shell we can see that the local host or L host field is uh, needed or required so we have to fill that up so let's start so set SRV host with our attacking IP which we showed uh, which we 
saw a little bit earlier 92.168.0.20 and then we're going to do the server port we can leave it as it is set l host the same thing 192.168.0.20 then there's an option it's an optional but I like actually to set it up which is the URI path Uh, because by default it's random so you can get any name but for me I just like to set it up to something that is familiar or you know URI path and I can set it up to owned dot HTML after I make sure that all of those the L port is required you can leave it as it is the default which is 4444 or you can set up as 4321 okay we have everything ready all we have to do is type exploit and enter now what we're gonna see is the server the server is gonna start running and metasploit is gonna provide us with a URL which is gonna be the one to use to exploit our victim just by visiting that URL and there we go it's gonna take a couple of minutes until it figure it out over here we're gonna see that in just a bit as you can see sending the corrupted DLL which has the vulnerable pointer it's gonna start running Sorry, as I said, I apologize for my slow system over here. There we go. Sending. Oh, that's good. We got a interpreter session open on port 4444. And it's going to migrate it into process 728. Uh, when I uh, tested before, yes, it goes into the notepad. So just create an extra notepad process. Uh, in the victim machine and since everything is ready we just click yes or enter sorry then to see the sessions the active sessions we have we type the command sessions and we'll see that we have one session on the XP machine and then to in interact with it we type session dash I and the number of it which is one and then basically we're in. If you type shell, you're gonna get a shell. We are in that machine. Uh, DIR, we have Adobe, install watch, Microsoft for example running on that machine or installed to verify that. We go into command prompt, we go into the desktop and we run DIR, we're gonna see the same thing to verify the IP we can do IP config and you can see it's the same IP and that's about it thank you for watching if you have any questions or comments please leave it in the comments section uh, for now I only have or I do my uh, demos on an XP SP3 but if anyone would like a special request for uh, Vista or Windows 7 or for example IE6 uh, let me know and uh, I'll see what I can do and thank you for watching have a great day